town now he got into them stories. The Massive Mammoth. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a handsome man named Spankwa Kwai Chang. Humble Chinaman. He was roaming through the world, giving out priceless quips of wide, sage-like wisdom. Spankwa was walking down the middle of the main street of San Pedro, Texas. A drunk yelled, Hey, there's a giant man! In no time, Spankwa was surrounded by illiterate, dirty, ugly, snarfy acting white people. He was asked, Do you here to buy a rice, gentlemen? Another question was, Hey, gentlemen, you got chopsticks? Spankwa karate chopped him in the throat, killed him. The rest of the crowd together said, Whoa! Spankwa asked, Where's the chop suey? How did they react? They started throwing rocks, yelling, Death! Death to the Chinaman! Spankwa got the hell out of Dodge. But two days later, he ran smack dab into a dozen Indians. Mean Indians. They didn't know Tonto, and they definitely didn't know Spank Wa. They talked among themselves, and one of them approached him and asked, We no see yellow skinned white men. Spank Wa began juggling four oranges. And Indians all stood around watching, yelling, You're gonna miss, numb nuts. But Spank Wa was suddenly juggling nine apples. The Indians began saying, Go, white devil, go! Finally, Spankwa stopped, gave a bow, and fired up a doobie. The Indians got all excited and began shouting, The prophecy has come true! The Great Spirit has sent the white man to smoke pot and punish the noble red man. Spankwa took a big hit and held it for hours, seeming, but only a couple seconds, really started coughing and gagging. The Indians thought he might hawk up a lung. Spankwa got it together, looked at the Indians and said, Oshole! The sun rises in the east.